everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little slider boxes that you can put the Brock's Tiny Conversation Hearts box inside. And these you can probably get at any store such as Target or Walmart or even maybe a pharmacy store like Walgreens. I picked mine up at Target. They come in a 10 pack like this. And what these do, what these boxes do is you just untie them and as you pull the string, the box of conversation hearts comes out. And then you can decorate these boxes however you want to decorate them. For those of you who have been following me for a little while now know that for the, my 12 Days of Christmas series, I made these little slider boxes that had these miniature candy bars inside. So when you pull out the string, these were for the Snickers Christmas trees. Well, with this box, I showed you how to use the Tic Tac, the TT box die from the Stamps of Life to make this. Now this Conversation Hearts box will not fit inside of here, so this t this TT box from the Stamps of Life, that die will not work to hold this. So with today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these slider boxes using the Brock's Conversation Hearts and just using your scoring pad and some pattern paper to make it. So you will not need any dies to cut this out. The only thing that you'll need are die cuts or stamped images to decorate the front. So I'm going to show you how to make this one, so let's go ahead and get started. So the paper that I'm using is from the Stamps of Life. It's the With Love Collection. And you're gonna take your paper and you are going to cut it so that it is five and three quarter inches. And then you're gonna flip it around and you are going to cut this so that it is three and a half inches. You're going to make your first score at one half inch. Your second score will be at one and three eighths of an inch. And then your third score will be at three and one eighths of an inch. And your last score will be at four inches. Then you're just gonna fold along the score lines. And then along the score where you scored it at one half, you're just gonna fold that flap down and you're going to add some glue. If you wanted to use some double-sided tape, you can do that as well. And then just bring your box around and just line it up with the edge. And then just press that down really well and that's your box. Next you're gonna take a hole punch and you're gonna punch your holes at the top of your box. So if your paper is directional, which mine is, the holes will be on this side, so the top of the hearts. So I'm just gonna flip this around and I'm going to punch just right in the middle. So there's one hole and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side to just make sure that those holes are about even. Next, you're gonna take some ribbon and you're going to feed the ribbon through the inside of the box to the outside. So the part that's hanging is gonna be on the outside of your box. And then I'm just going to trim this down. You wanna make sure that your ribbon is long enough so that it extends to the bottom of your box and then you have enough room that you can tie it. So just cut yourself enough ribbon so that you have enough for that. So we're gonna go ahead and take the ribbon and tie it through the other side. Just loop it right through. And then make sure your ribbon is straight. So just now's the time to fix it to make sure it's straight and it's not turning. So just hold your ribbon out and make sure it's even. And then you can take your box of conversation hearts and you can put it right inside. And as you put it inside, as you press down, the ribbon will go down to the bottom. And then you'll be able to tie this. So just tie this top part in a bow and then just snip off the ends. And then you can decorate your box. So I'm just gonna stamp out Happy Valentine's Day 
with some guava ink. This is the guava ink from the Stamps of Life. And I'm just gonna trim this down. And I'm also going to use one of these cute little love bugs. Now, this is from that same paper pad from this particular paper. There is a sheet of love bugs that you can die cut with some shadow dyes that the Stamps of Life sells. But if you don't have this paper pad and you really liked this love bug, you can always get the stamp set and the stamp set you will have forever and ever. So, so it's this one, it's the love bugs to stamp and it matches this stamp here. So there's a couple different love bugs. They also have the more love bugs to stamp with another love bug and some flowers. So you can always stamp it out, but I'm just going the easy way here just to keep this simple and just using a die cut piece. And I'm just going to cut this down and use this on my box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some glue here. And this stamp set is from the Ice Cream Truck to Stamp set from the Stamps of Life. I love that set as well. It's a cute little ice cream truck. And then we'll just add this cute little love bug right here to the top. And then if you wanted to decorate the back, you can. But there's the front. You can always decorate the back. And then when the recipient gets this, they're just going to open this up. And when they pull on the ribbon, the conversation hearts come out. And there they are. Isn't that adorable? And then if you wanted to close it up, Again, just stick it right in there, press down, and then you can close your ribbon. Now, one thing I want to mention is that try not, if you have a large die cut piece image here, like I do, I have a very large one, do not get glue on the back where this piece of ribbon is here. So if you actually put glue or tape on this ribbon, it will be harder for you to take the candy out. So make sure that doesn't have any tape on it there. So you can tape all around. Just make sure that that tape and glue is on the actual box itself. But isn't that adorable? What a cute little treat for Valentine's Day. So here's another version. It's a little bit more masculine in theme. I used a dotted heart die to die cut the heart. I did use a black with a white diamond colored um, paper for the base. And I just die cut some guitar dies. These are the miniature guitar dies out of just some gold um, cardstock and then the U Rock die. And these are all from the Stamps of Life. So this is the guitar dies, the U Rock die, and the dotted hearts. And just put that on the actual box. So again, here's two versions of making your slider box for your conversation hearts using die cuts. You can use any of your stamps. Any stickers, if you have any Valentine's Day stickers, you can decorate them with any of that. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials from me.